Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for another journaling on a budget starting from scratch. And today I chose this spread here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it except that we had made this postcard, but I really don't care for this postcard a whole lot. I don't know, there's just something about, eh, it's just so, so, so. Um, but we have this kind of yellowish belly band that was going to go in this spread and then we have this drop down writing space and so I thought well let's um let's find something to go with with this so I pulled out my okay I'm gonna do a four by six postcard and so this is gonna be the size that I'm gonna cut it and so I need a picture at least this big but I pulled out the pictures that I cut out of our book that one's not big enough that one is, that's kind of pretty. We can set that aside. That one's too short. Ooh, that one's the right size. That one's not quite the right size. Let's see here. It is just about though. Goes right to here. That's pretty. I like this better and um, it's got yellows in it, and our belly band is yellow, so we're just going to pick that one. We're not going to look any further. Close this up. Okay, so we are just going to cut this. Let me see, where do I want it? If I go here, I'm really not cutting much off the bottom or the side, just pretty much grass. Or do I need to come over just a little bit so we do actually have a little grass over here and cut it off right here have a little grass on the edge or don't have a little grass I like it with a little bit of grass on the edge it gives it more definition for the flower garden so we're going to cut it off right there grab my scissors and I can either just hold this on here or trace around it, but it's just as easy to just hold it right on here. Since this is a nice thick piece of cardboard, it's not too hard to cut against. Alrighty, maybe we could use those for something. That's pretty, I like that. And that's going to look nice with this yellow here. Got it here on there. Okay, so now we need to um, put a piece of backing paper on there. Do we want to do it in white? I, mm, I think so. Let's just grab a piece of white paper. That's not paper. That's um. This is, we got the book. That little kid's book. I forgot all about this. I kind of made a little folder to hold it in, but we when I... Let's see, where is that? I got this kid's book here. And it came with all these stencils in it, and it had all sorts of things. It had coloring pages, and this is all stuff that I, um, oh, I like that. It's like a globe. Or, oh, it's one of those disco things, a disco ball. It even had this really shiny stuff in there that would be cool to play with. Oh, some little feathers are cute. These would make cute journaling cards. They'd make inchies, but you could do, do two by three, and you could get four journaling cards nice and bright. We'll have to leave that out. I forgot that these were even in there. It's the thing when you get your crafty stuff together. You gotta look through it every so often or you forget what you have. And then when you do look through it, it's like, ooh, I wanna play with that. But I'm not sure if we have pages that could do that bright or not, but we're gonna, I'm gonna set it aside. We'll make some journaling cards out of it. Um, oh, I don't need that. I was looking for a piece of white paper. And I got distracted. Here's some white paper. Move the book out of the way. Get our glue. Where's the glue spreader? Right here, our glue spreader. And a 
a magazine or something to spread the glue on. Let's put some glue on there and then spread it. Use this side. Make sure you get all the way out to the edges. Turn this around so it doesn't move. Whoop, then it moved anyways. Get all the way out to the edges, all the way around. And then I'm going to pretty much scrape most of it off. Good, I didn't wind up with too much waste. And then just put it right on here. I'm gonna just leave a little edge so I don't I'm not gonna try and line it up. That's gonna be a pretty postcard. Okay, so that's yellows and oranges in that. And I'm gonna cut around it just a little bit. Since I forgot to bring my heavy books out, I just stuck it under my flower book, which is a nice solid um, book cover, and put some salt on top of it to hold it down. Alrighty, so then we're going to need our, we'll need this postcard to trace our bits around when, after it dries a little bit. And so then let's look at that page. and see what else we've got going on here. All right, so I really like this pretty much just the way it is. Maybe put a little color or something here because that's the only part that's showing and a little flower on there. Maybe like in the oranges or yellows. Let's see, those were like lilies, weren't they? Let's see if we can find a lily in here. See, there's just a little scrap of paper that could even go on there like collaging. All right, I'm going to take some of these out. Oh, look. That's a lily. And, oh, that's about the perfect size. I could even, let's see. I can't tell which sides. I think this side is up. So if I were to put that on there like that, it wouldn't matter if this was hanging down just a little bit. And I like that. I like that a lot. Do we want something behind it? When you're ripping paper, the part that you pull towards you is the part that does not have a white edge. I just have to remind myself of that. Just so it's not so flat. What about just a little touch of lace? A piece of the flat lace. Ooh. Yeah, let's do, I was thinking maybe cream, but I think, well, let's see the cream. That blends in too much, really. I think we do need a little snippet of white. 
and it doesn't need to be too much. And it doesn't matter whether it includes a whole flower or not because it's going to be underneath stuff. So if we put that there, I'm going to cut up this part that's crumpling up. Yeah, I like that. I like the leaves hanging down over here and the lace hanging down over here. The way that I had it, they were both over here and I did not like the looks of that. I don't need all of this, so I'm going to rip that because maybe I'm going to use the glue that's on this card to glue it down. Let's see, I wanted this to hang down this way, didn't I? And I don't want much to stick up over the top. I don't want anything to stick up over the top because the top is going to have to open up. So it's okay if it hangs up down here because it won't be in, in the way at all. Make sure I have glue on pretty much the whole thing. Depending on what you're doing, sometimes it really doesn't matter if it sticks down a little bit, or I should say if it doesn't stick down all the way, because it just gives it a little bit of an added lift if parts of it are, are up a little bit. Now I was, I tore this off because I was thinking maybe Maybe we would put this under here too. Yeah, I think so, but it needs a little glue on it. There we go, that was about the perfect amount of glue to glue everything. Yes, I like that over there, it needed a little something. Let's move this out of the way. Open it up just in case I had a little bit of glue on something that's sticking over the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go. Oh, I think that looks really cute. I like that. And then do I got a little glue on here? I want to put a little bit of orange down in here, maybe so. This is going to... It's going to go on this page, and it's going to go up towards the top, so that as you open it up, you've got a lot of writing space with, with the book behind it. Okay. And then I need to think what we're going to do down here. That's going to go in there. I think maybe we should put a little bit of orange on here. And we're going to just do that with some watercolor. So I need a plastic bag, not this one. I'll put the I'll put that away later. Um, it's just a plastic Walmart bag and an orange marker 
and maybe even a little yellow too since we've got yellow on the other side and give it a little a little interest instead of just being orange I'm gonna spray of water there we go And then we're just going to crunch that up, mix it up. Ooh, that looks cute. It's a little going to be really, really solid, so I'm going to kind of mush it around a little bit more. And I only want just this piece here. So it's going to be this piece right here that I want the color on. The yellow's not showing up much. I kind of was hoping a little yellow would get on there. nice except now you know what I think we need just a little bit on here and here a bit right there at the top over here Some right there and then I want to actually try and get a little bit on the lace if there's any left And there we go. I did get a little bit on the lace. And I like that. And then... This is the page that goes on. just a touch more so maybe let's do it let's just pretty much do yellow and like just a few dots of orange and not so much water this time I'm just gonna do like a few just drips of water and see if that mixes it enough oh yeah and because oops sorry for shaking the table because we still have some of that orange in the background there that's going to mix in with the yellow we just put on there also Let's see, I want to put some right in this area because there isn't any. Yeah, that looks pretty good because I'm going to try and do the whole page all at once. There we go, that's much better. Just a nice lightness in the background. Just put a little bit up, get a little bit more up here at the top. 
Yeah, I like that just like that. Let's try it with our, set that aside. Let's see what this looks like on it. Okay, and then that's going to be right there. And then we'll have to decide if we're going to do anything else. This is going to be like this. We've got our belly band here. And we're going to have our postcard on there. Should we do some on here too? Or should we do something different? I really love the watercolor background, so you'll see me use that lots. Um, but let's do something different on here. What about, what about, what about? Um, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll just leave that for right this second. Do we want to put a pocket underneath here? But if we put a pocket, it'll be hard to roll down. What about, maybe maybe we just have a pretty flower that will kind of fill that space a bit. No. It's got to be the right kind of flower, though. Ooh, that's a lily. It's cut off right there, so what if I put it to the side of the page? like that. Put this on here like this. And then that still actually leaves a little bit of writing space on that page. I think I like that. And I still have to decide if I'm going to do lines on the writing spaces or leave them. Yeah, I, I do. I like that a lot. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to glue this down now, too. So let's put... Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm only going to do the three sides so that it's kind of like a hidden pocket that no one would know is there except whoever has the book. So we're going to put that on there like that, making sure that I've kind of got it centered. There we go. Give it a good press. Make sure that it didn't grab the edges of our, of our envelope flip down. Go. Maybe we need to put a little something here, too, to hold that down. We'll think about that later. It's a little bit crooked. I don't like that. Oh, that stuck really quick, too. When you want it to stick really quick, it doesn't want to. But when you want to pick it up, then it's decided it's going to grab hold right away. Okay, so let's get that stuck down. Now there's a secret little pocket back there. Just kind of really pressing that flap to help hold it down a little bit. There we go. And then we have to glue this one. a different page of this so that we can put the glue all the way out to the edges because we definitely want this to be glued down everywhere because it's going to be right on the edge of a page it's not like in a collage where if you don't get all of it glued down it's more interest On the edge of a page, it would just wind up getting really wrinkled and torn and tight, that type of thing. Which, in a collage area, is not that big of a deal because you put different layers and bits and ripped pieces and that type of thing, so it wouldn't look funny. 
All right, now this was cut off because it was from the very edge of a page. And so that's, I just, that's as far as the picture actually went. But sometimes you think, well, you know, that's not a whole picture, so I can't use it because, you know, it looks funny. That's cut off. But the, but the thing is, is that, look, it, it fit here just perfect. And now this needs to go under there. There we go. And that looks nice with the yellow belly band. And it's the right type of flower, I think. Pretty sure that those are both lilies. Oh yeah, I like the way that that turned out. Okay, now for this side. I'm wondering if we want to do a little bit of stamping or something. Those are pretty flowers. Um, hmm. I don't know. So I think I'm going to stop right here for just a second. Um, I'm going to wait for our postcard to dry and I'm going to think about what to do here. And, um, and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back and this has dried. So I'm just going to cut the extra white off and then we'll put our postcard lines on the back. And then I think what I wanna do is I pulled out a couple of stencils and I'm thinking maybe about stenciling along the edge if I find one that I think looks good. Oh, I did so good right up till the end. There we go. Okay, so now we have the front of our postcard. Get rid of all that. And then we just need two, I want a black pen I think for this. And really doesn't matter which way where's there we go so put this on here like this and so I just we made these templates a while ago and so this template now it's for like if you're gonna make a lot of postcards this is a great way to have a template um, because then you don't have to um, you know measure your address lines and your divider line every single time. And I do like to go around the edge like this, just because, and we'll just go like that. And there we go. That's an easy way to get all that done without having to like do a bunch of measurements. So there's our postcard. Now we can make a little stamp for there as a matter of fact, well, I was thinking maybe one of these and maybe just cut a little smaller, but I think I really want to try and make these into, into tags. So I think I'm just going to leave that for now. And let's just, um, what did I do with my cutout flowers? The extra pages. Let's just look in here. And we just want something small because this is not huge. And so let's just kind of, do I have any kind of scrap? Oh, look at there. That's kind of a scrap. Maybe go like that. that just you go from this on the back which is writing space is what it really is but you go from that 
to that. It just sets it off a little bit. So let's go ahead and glue that on there. There. I like that. All right, so that's going to go underneath of our belly band. Let's pull our book back in here. I love the way that this page turned out. And this one is going to go here. And our postcard's going to go underneath. So then the question is, what do we want to do around the edges? I also pulled out my washi tape because I thought, ooh, maybe washi tape. But my washi tapes are pretty much all... This one's got some orange on it. I should have tried it started from the other end. But I just don't know about putting some washi tape right down the middle of that. All right. Let's do take that off. It's sticking a little bit to the plastic, so I just got to really get it started here. If it's sticking to the plastic and the plastic is starting to rip, just make sure you get that piece off before you keep going, or it will just continue to rip all the way down. And then once you get it started, then you can usually just go ahead and keep going. Well, it wants to really stick right there. And if you have parchment paper, um, the washi tape works really well if you store it on parchment paper. But I didn't have any parchment paper for this series, so we stuck it on a Walmart bag, which does work. It just wants to stick a little bit. I've got that stuck on my hand. And now I'm going to try this and not like it. <laughs> hmm. Let me see. With what we've got going on over here... All right, well, let's think about that. Let's put this under here. You know, I think I do like that. It gives us a little contrast, so I think I'm going to stick that on there. I want to get as much of this orange at the top as possible, so I'm going to start right there at the edge. Center it. Just gonna cut this. To match my ripped edge there. the way that I put it on. Do I want it that way or I like the orange at the top. All right, so there we go with that. That takes care of that. And I've just still decide what to do with this. And like I said, I pulled out some stencils. I thought this was kind of neat. This is a sewing thing that I got in, but I thought that that might be kind of neat, kind of look a little bit like flower petals. Maybe stick it like right over to the edge and stencil that. Or I have this stencil that came in the kids' book and that had these. 
I think I really like this one. So, I am going to, how am I going to do this? I'm going to glue this down first so that this is straight in line with this. Just a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom. And it looks centered and it looks straight. Just give it a little press. And then put our postcard up there. Let's see, what do I want to do now? Do I want orange? Do I want yellow or a little bit of both? And this is um, the only paint that I got for the series, except for one um, thing of white paint. Um, but it's very, very transparent. So then the question is, do I want to put a little bit of the white paint with it to make it a little bit more opaque? It will be lighter, but it will be not as see-through. And I do believe that this yellow might be what I did this paper out of. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I did that one. That might just be watercolor paper. All right, so... to grab a piece of cardboard if I have one here. Okay. I'm going to just put a piece of cardboard underneath our page just to make it a little more solid. You should have solid. We do have a bump here with the lace behind it, so we'll have to be careful there. But whenever you're stenciling, you should have a solid background. I think I'm going to just line this right up with the very top because that should make it pretty straight. And we'll put some paint on here. And I think that we'll do a mix of the orange and the yellow. trying to think do I want maybe a little bit of I'm seeing the green here but no let's just do orange and yellow some all over here. We don't want to waste that. Okay. Oops, I forgot there's like little dotted lines here. So I want to get down into those also. Grab up a little. I think there's a little yellow on here. Let's see how much. Whenever you're going through a stencil, you want to tap off so that the um, paint that's on your sponge is very smooth so it doesn't go under your stencil. Now this is really more of a drawing template, so it's quite thick. And um, so you really have to kind of press hard to get all the way down to the paper and get a good um, a good print from it, or a good pattern, however you would want to say that. So give it a look before you move it and make sure that there's no white spots that you see. Oops. There we go. I did come out just a little bit. I'll be right back. I just have to turn that timer off.
Okay, now I'm looking at that and I really don't like it really well. So I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. What I am going to do with it is I'm going to come over here and do the same thing because then however I fix it, it's not going to See, I should have pounced that orange off better. And I didn't, so that's why it really got a little bit of smeared. Because it wasn't pounced off well enough. But... I just had that timer set because as I was waiting for this to dry, when I was waiting for the postcard to dry, I went and sat down and I thought, oh, I better set a timer in case I fall asleep so that I actually get, <laughs> get this page done today. There we go. All right, so I'll keep going. and then decide what else I might want to do with it. So we'll just, maybe I'll draw around it. Just a little bit of a messy drawing. That kind of fixes things up if you've, if you've got a mistake. Or you never know, maybe I'll at some point find something and just cover it up. We'll see. You can always fix a mistake. This book is getting close to being done. So I can't really just remove the page because it's already got something on the other side. Oh, one of my favorites on the other side. But, um... But yeah, you can always find something to make it look pleasant to yourself and to others. And sometimes what you don't like, other people do like, although not this kind of a mess. There we go. Okay. So let's put it up here. Give it a look. Put our postcard in there. And I'm going to need to straighten that postcard out. I did put it in a book to dry for a while. But um, it wasn't completely dry when I came back. So when you've got a postcard that's curling like this, what you're going to do is put it on the edge of your counter. Say this is our counter edge. Hold your hand on the edge of the counter and then just kind of pull down on, the, on your paper that's curling. And that will curl it back the other way. In, in a really nice fashion. So again, you've got the edge of your counter. You just put it you start it right at the edge of your counter. Hold your hand up here. Don't hold your hand on the edge. Hold it just above the edge. And then as you pull it, pull it down just a little bit, not a lot. And then that will help, even, even just doing it with that. Oh, and then you'll need to turn it because see here where we started, that really didn't get much done with it. So you're going to go ahead and go the other way. And again, hold it. Hold it down just a little bit. And now see there's not anywhere near as much of a curl as there was. Okay, so that's going to be in there like that. And so we just have to decide what is it that we want to do here. What's on the other side of our page. Okay, 
I don't want to do anything that's too wet because I don't want it to soak through. And I'm not sure. So I think at this point in time, I may just leave that. I think it might need a little bit of the blue. And so I may come back in and do something with the blue. I wonder if I stenciled the same stencil the opposite way. What if I took it and did it this way? like that with the light blue and dark blue I think that might I think that that would just be too much with this page not having any blue on it at all so maybe just hmm I'll have to think about that but it's not super bad you know but there are some places where it's seeped underneath the um underneath the stencil um, mostly right here where we've got the lace underneath and then up here where I did not get enough of the orange off of my sponge before I stenciled and this is a bit, like I said this is actually a template this is something that's made to draw around and maybe I'll even do that maybe I'll put that on there but it needs to be dry Maybe I'll put it on there and I'll draw around every one of those and then I will go ahead and I will just draw around every one of those just kind of like a messy and that might do it the blue ink and then um, you know just just giving them definition then it's kind of okay if it's went outside the lines and do I want anything else here before I before I put the paint on something else. No. No, maybe just where's one of my brushes? Again, I might just want to just put a little bit of orange and yellow just this is a very um bristly brush so I think it will not I think it will leave me some nice little kind of like yeah, just little like stripes just so that the edge is not just totally plain and I have the paint left so why not do something with it so I don't get a whole ton. Oh, I like that. That even takes away from the fact that it's a little bit messy. I'm not sure why, but... like those lines kind of thinking I might just want to do the whole thing I think I am going to put just a little bit of those lines what the heck can't hurt anything like I said I can always cover it up where's my cardboard so that I don't get don't get it all over the place I don't want 
do that either. And the only thing is, I want to keep them all straight because that's because that's the way I'm doing it. You know, I mean, if I wanted to do it like in some kind of a swirl, then, you know, you start that way. Okay, now I actually have to say I'm not having much of a problem with that at all because that has kind of covered up the smudge spots a little bit. It's really given that page some color. And here's our postcard. I think that postcard is going to look nice in there. Yeah, I'm not going to go around it with the blue. I like the way that that went ahead and fixed it. And so I'm going to let that paint dry because I don't want to get it all over here. Um, but I think that that's going to look nice. So there we go. That page is all set. And we kind of messed it up, but then we fixed it. And that is just, you know, that's just the way that you do it. Like I said, you never know what it is going to be that you're going to do that will fix it. But that looks really nice. I don't know how well you can see that. But to me through the camera, it doesn't look as good as it does here. I like the way that it looks here. So there we go. That's fixed. Let it dry and we'll put the postcard in and it will be all set. So thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this page and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.